Bucks is Roslyn back one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time talking about my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, being able to basically reassure you that all the things that we're going through is going to end up having a positive outcome after all the hell has been going on. You know, and which, which we truly deserve. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload the next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information, you want to love on our friend, please go ahead and share, um, especially if they need confirmation or validation towards their life path or you know their life purpose or just want to know if they're even on the right journey. So go ahead and share while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up. Like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support that you've been sending me. Um, it's truly appreciated, especially when I know I'm sending out love and vibes and you go ahead and give me something in return. It's truly a blessing. So thank you. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, uh, my um meditation music I'm listening to is Buddha. So I love Buddha images. It really puts me in a calming place. Um, it's called Inner Awakening, uh, Calming Meditation to Meet Your Higher State of Consciousness, Inner Peace and Balance. And I will be posting that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas. Uh, universe is having, uh, the universe is having not isn't having you change your situation it wants she wants to uh the situation to change you that's why i meant to say lord i got stuck on that <laughs> yeah i mean you know how we get into certain situations that universe creator god whatever we go through it it feels like we're in a nightmare that we won't uh wake up from and it's just like you're you're experiencing all your past trauma you got your um memories that keep coming back that you were trying desperately to set free from part ways from but there's still some of that uh residue of memories left um and you're trying to really say you know how am i gonna get out of this how am i gonna figure this out and it can be really frustrating at times especially you know when you're just ready to go on to the next level but we can't go on to that next level until we you know, let go of everything you know not allowing certain situations to change your emotions keep you focused on the things that you're you know you're currently pushing towards that you're trying to you know manifest into your life not allowing you know negative vibes or negative people toxic people uh to get under your skin and allow them to bother you not having you you know having you uh come out your character you know um letting things just go ahead and brush aside because you know sometimes when when we have things come at us it feels like we're being attacked by people we have to not take that personal even though it's hard to do that because you're like Rosalind they're coming at me yes they do at you but it's like you know there's people that have been mad and it's, you know you snap the closest person that's there so it's just like they're putting personal issues out on you so that's why they're like, they never taking it personal you know and what's being our human form it gets like that at times so it's like the process we're going through like i told you we're getting activated there we're purging we're releasing um everything and it's just like it needs to have you back on track because i'm telling you everybody a lot of people that i'm talking to lately y'all y'all have to believe and i know you believe it because there's certain urges you get that you know something off you know that there's something that's about the shift or you already experiencing the shift so it's just like the situations that you're in is going to change you in so many ways but it's going to be out of a positive one because after everything's all said and done yeah you you might have been through some really really bad situations really traumatic situations that you have experienced in your life and allow you to process that because sometimes it's like i look at my situation and i'm just like it sometimes it feels like it's not real 
you know, like, I know I didn't go through this. <laughs> you know, did these people really do this to me? And, and you mean, know, there's times I'm like, yeah, I know this, but then it's just like, it feels like it, it's uh, all a facade or smoke screens, you know? So it's just like, we already knew before we came to this prior life, we signed up for this situation. And we, you know, they basically taught us like, look, you know, this next life you about to occur, uh, about to jump to and these things are about to occur, you about to go through the worst thing that you possibly had to go through. Do you think you can handle that? Already in our past life, we already said we we're gonna be able to handle that. And it's just like, you know, we all knows the thing, we, our higher self knew all the things that we had to go through. And they already knew the outcome of the situation because there are certain things that we have been through and you know you have done this before. Like, why do you already feel like this has happened already? So, you know, your higher self steps in tune with that. You're ascending, you're up, going up towards the fit, uh, 4D and 5D. You're not dealing with the uh, monetary value or material, the material world of the 3D dimension. So it's just like all these things are having, they're teaching you strength, it's teaching you wisdom, growth. You know, trusting within yourself, believing in yourself, loving yourself more. Know that you're you're going to be able to change this. You know, this situation is going to change you, but it's changing you for a better. Because there's a lot of times we go through situation, it changes us. It changes us, but it's in a negative, you know, a negative way. It makes you back off from people, think everybody's the same, thinking everybody has a hidden motive that comes in your life, um, not wanting to open up to people, not trusting people. Yes, those situations have really change you so they add on another situation that you have to go through and step back and no longer allow that situation to affect you you're putting that in effect yes it can be hard trust me I know going through that process is no easy process but we have to just believe in ourselves and say you know what we are going to heal from these things you know, these things have really happened to us and they broke us down on every way possible but you have to trust yourself and trust the universe yeah you're going to keep that it's just like when you first started the situation and things you went through that you had to go through for you to be able to see what did you have what it takes to be able to go through this experience and heal from it and let it go and allow it to teach you so many things on the growth process of ascending from trauma. You know, it's like all these things are going on. I'm like, what well, the heck? You know, <laughs> that's some deep stuff. You have to go through a really hardship, uh, a hard, like a hard experience. Just for uh, allow you to see things in a bigger light, you know, bigger picture, different perspective, you know, looking at it in a, you know, at a different level. And it's just like with my situation, I look at it, it's like, yes, I'm going through a, a growth pro process. I'm dealing with a lot of things. Yes, the heck, it stressed me the heck out. But with me doing this, I'm using my platform to make videos to let people know, yes, we go through these things, but it's going through a process for us healing in so many different angles, so many different layers. It's like onions and steady pulling off and we're healing all the deep within. Being able to let people know, you know, you're going to break that generational curse. We're going through these things and finding the lesson and the blessing. And it's just like all these different things we feel like we're going through that we are not going to make it. It, it will throw that self down on you. It will go think, make your ego and go in a hyperdrive. But you have to know that you were placed in this situation for it to change you for the better. Allowing that process to take effect. Be able to go with the flow. And I know it can be hard as hell sometimes. Especially when you know something to pop off and you don't know. It's just like you watching a boiling pot on the stove. And that daggone lid starts shaking. And they tell you, don't leave it alone. Don't leave it alone. It's like, well, wait a minute. Pop up. Trust in the process. <laughs> it's like, and you know... It's like if you don't either turn that down or either stove down, something's going to pop off and it's going to go all over the place. And that's just like how we are, but not in a negative sense. You know, we have to trust in the process. You know, you're working hard to achieve something that you want desperately in your life. So they're going to have you going through all different type of levels. It's just like going on a video game. You know, you can't like if you deal with Mario, Mario Brothers, you're going to have to go through those turtles, those things to be throwing stuff at you, little spike head things or whatever just go through all those stages to get to that big dragon so you get the princess so it's just like all those different stages you had to go through you know one the first level was okay it wasn't that hard but then you go into the second and third you know and the more levels you go to the harder it's going to be so we have to be able to be that super mario brother get that little that that thing that makes us bigger and just start knocking folks out so 
but it's not the, literally knocking folks out, but just not the, you know, the toxic energy, the toxic vibes that's flowing towards you, not allowing that past trauma to trigger you, to pull you right back into that dark space. And I know we're trying so hard to work at the getting out of that dark space. And trust me, I know sometimes it feels like you're not doing enough. Nothing's really changing, but it is sending you so many signals that things are changing. But we have to be able to trust in that process that no, it is going to happen for us. We will get our blessings. You no, know, and it's just like when it, when people, you know, like I told you, I will pray on you, make sure you don't get those things in your life. But if God sees that you're working and doing your best on everything you're trying to do, and you're seeing things for what they truly are, and you're trying to heal on so many different levels, if you meditate, you pray, you talk to the universe, you talk to the creator, you talk to the source, you know, calling in your arch angel, angels to ha have them help you with all these different things that you've got going on, knowing that it's all for you will. So going through this process, know that you will be able to announce that you do what you need to do, and you will be getting out of that dark spot. But we just have to be able to allow the situation that we've been placed in to not let it beat us. Because, shoot, I'm a sore loser. I can't be getting beat like that. I don't like to see somebody who has hurt me win anything. <laughs> so you you got to sit up here and just trust in the process. And knowing that this situation that you have been placed in, it will change you. It's going to change you for the positive. It's gonna, that's going to be your blessing to be able to come out of that and say, you know what? I was gone i gone through this that and the third and guess what i made it made it and made it yes it hurt me yes it tore me down it broke me down to where i felt like i was not gonna be able to get out of this i was like it's like being in a deep pool and having a chain and a daggone cement block hold me down you finally took that chain off drop kicked it to the ground and you flew up to the top you know and that's why it seems like we're drowning all the time we're drowning in our sorrows we're drowning in our toxic uh vibrations you know back and forth to a higher frequency and a low frequency you know you all you have to do is just swim to the top and just trust the process somebody gonna be waiting on you and uh, to pull you out and it's gonna be your it's gonna be source they're gonna pull you out and it's just like when your stuff comes you know you have to talk like you know put put that stuff in perspective and it's just like i know how hard it is sometimes to try to stay in that positive zen to know that you know I'm trying to um uh that you're trying to make it you're gonna to get towards these blessings and you know better things are gonna head towards your way that nobody else is not gonna be able to you know stop that process because they've been doing it for so long so those things will come for you so I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video um post notification shout out goes to Drastic Mark Michelle Olson and Lewis Johnson, much love to you. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed. How to forever love. And on there's always someone out there praying for your better days. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Share. And I'll see you on my next video. And send out as much love and light as you possibly can. You never know. Your your good words and good vibes can really take some help along the way. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.